Especially since we don't have anything else. He won't make it to the 81. Now who's second? When Braverman rolled off the car, he landed flat-footed. From that height and the speed he was going, he must have dislocated his femoral head from his acetabulum. Oh, it couldn't be that bad. He's been running ever since. Once he's in the car and immobile, his adrenaline will wear off and the pain will become unbearable. He'll need drugs and medical care. You don't think he'd be stupid enough to go to a hospital? He won't have a choice. I'll contact all the hospitals and the urgent care facilities along the route. Nothing? You found nothing? We have tried everything we can think of. The problem is projectiles either bounce off the rib, crack it, or fragment it into several pieces. But nothing knocked out one small fragment. It's like I told the science dude, we need something that strikes at more than 40 meters per second, but less than 70 meters per second. Which translates to? Uh, faster than a golf ball hit with a three iron, but slower than a rubber bullet. <sighs> oh, good lord. I think I'm onto something. Whoa, you made a bazooka. If you mean potato bazooka, then yes. PVC tube, commercial hairspray as an accelerant, hold and load. Man, I haven't shot a potato gun since I was a kid. Is this in any way safe? Strictly 18 and over, so I am completely out of my comfort zone. Okay, loaded and ready. Professor? away. Wow. 140 miles per hour, so that's 62.5 meters per second, give or take. Check the playback on that. Eureka! I see that your results are congruent with what happened, but are we really saying that our victim was killed by a potato gun? 